So I'm here at the John Bach block at Phelan Ranch with my longtime winemaking partner, Reed's Company. And 2024 is starting off with a bang. We're going through and looking at cluster counts and the pure volume of grapes we have. And after we had perfect bloom conditions last year and then a very wet winter, the, the conditions are perfect for a huge crop. And Reed, have you ever seen a vintage where there's this many clusters it's, developing. If I, have, I can't remember, to be honest, in, uh, in my 20 some odd years of doing this, this is absolutely glorious. This Ooh. is uh, this is a year where we are going to leave these clusters and you can see just huge amounts of fruit hanging. And our goal is to let this start, roll them, let them go for about a month and a half and then do a drop late in the season. But this year mitigating all of the moisture, all of the built up vigor that the soil has, we need these things to uh, to slow down. We're about to have the hottest June in history. These vines are going to absolutely go crazy and, and it's our job to manage this crop load to make sure that the textures and concentration are there. Reed, what do you think about the canopy to hold up this much crop load? At this angle right here, we're looking really healthy. Um, you can see they're, they're still growing, but with this oncoming heat, they're gonna shut down really quickly. Um, and Russell, why is dropping clusters, wh what does dropping clusters do? How does that help us mitigate textures and flavors and profiles? Well, late in the season, we need to drop the clusters so we have more photosynthetic horsepower and more nutrient going to fewer grapes to make sure we can ripen all of the tannins and give us better concentration. If we left this much fruit on the vine, that the, the grapes would be watery and wouldn't have the there there that, well, Reed and I like to put in the bottle. <laughs> 